Hey guys, uh, after being so close the last couple of games, just how satisfying was it to close the road trip with a win and finally get over that hump? Beyond satisfying. <laughs> Seriously. Um, yeah, I mean, that was our goal coming in uh, to tonight was just, you know, end on a W. We know that we were capable of the last two games, obviously fell short, but um, we knew even with our low numbers that uh, we were going to come out energetic and just play as hard as we can and, you know, let the chips fall. And with only seven players available, how how important was it for everyone that was available tonight to to make the contributions that you did? I mean, six players in double figures and only eight turnovers tonight. Mm, I didn't even know that. Only four of them. Not four. I had four. I like three or four. I had, it, it probably was me and you. Right? <laughs> no, it, it was really important. I mean, we all spoke together, you know, before we, you know, went into this game, and we knew that it was going to be a battle. I mean, like you said, it was only seven of us. So. We knew that we had to come out. We had to come out with energy. We knew we had to play hard and play for each other. I mean, that's what it comes down to. So and I think that we accomplished that goal. D Rob, on that last play, was it specifically drawn up for you to go one on one, or did you just kind of see a lane there and decide by yourself to go against Mabry? Uh, I can't give you all the secrets. <laughs> baby I'm just kidding. Uh, but no, it was just uh, making a read. If, you know, if I was open, then obviously take it. If not, um, you know, kick out and somebody else is going to make a play. So, um, we're just being aggressive, see how they're regarding, and then, um, you know, just make a decision from there. And last one for me, Emma, what is kind of like your level of comfort with the team right now? A few games in, obviously, now you're thrown into the mix starting because of uh, maybe because of injuries, because of your production as well. Just what, what, how comfortable do you feel right now, and how, how big was the game you had? To um, I'm super comfortable. Like I said before, I know majority of these girls, and um, coming in, like, they, they welcomed me with open arms, and um, tonight, you know, I started off a little rugged, and I feel like every single one of them got in my ear and told me that I was I was better than what I was playing, and um, they believed in me, so it was only it was it was up to me to produce for them, and uh, I feel like that's where I got my motivation from. Thanks, guys. Thank you, uh, Kristen. Anything for D. Rob, L. A. or Emma? Sorry, I know you just jumped on there. Uh, L. B. Anything? Yeah, um, I guess for kind of all three of you and probably a little bit more specifically you, Emma, but again, it, just seeing that chemistry on the floor, I think it kind of goes back to these last few weeks of you guys being able to have that second training camp. I mean, I've seen it the last three games anyway, but I mean, today, obviously, a lot of people are seeing it because of that W at the end of this matchup. So can you guys talk to me about that? Okay. Uh, yeah, I think for us, we really were just focused on, you know, coming together as a team in those three weeks, and we still really had our core there, going hard every single day for three weeks, you know, full off days here and there, but um, we really used that time to kind of just refine our offense and um, tune up our defense a little bit, but I think just having that three weeks to play with each other and play against guys and, you know, just be able to practice and not have to worry about games and adjusting to different opponents uh, it was very important for us. And you talked about turning the defense up a notch, you know, in the first quarter, they were knocking down threes like nobody's business, but it looked like you guys just didn't let it bother you. So what adjustments did you guys make and what was kind of the mood in that moment? Because it's real easy in this moment, being down, they're firing from three, you only have seven players say, we're done, forget it. Let's just get ready to go home and we're going to revamp. And that's not what we saw. We saw you guys fight back. So just talk to me about that. Um, I feel like we just locked in. Uh, it was enough. And I felt like everybody felt that, like it was enough. It kind of got to a point where it was kind of disrespectful. And I feel like everybody on this team, we don't like that. So we bought into what the coaches said um, and we came out and we stuck our guns on defense. And that's, that, that basically helped us going into the second half for sure. <clears throat> Thank you. Is that dropped the mic moment right there? Period. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was really about that strap out. <laughs> Lindsay, I was just going to ask you real quick. I brought up the threes. Uh, what what got in? I know you made a couple against Phoenix, but it seems like you're shooting the ball a lot better recently. Yeah, I think just having confidence and knowing my teammates have confidence in me to shoot it. Um, just continuing to put work in and trust it um, and just trust my form and all that stuff and just being able to adjust. And even if I miss one or whatever the case may be, continuing to shoot and be aggressive and look for my shot. Yeah, Marianne, just for the team's morale and overall psyche, after being so close the last couple of games, how, how satisfying was it to just close the trip with a win? Um, you know, it was just a terrific team win. You know, we told our players, it doesn't matter what anybody else believes or thinks outside of our locker room. 
all that matters is that they believe in what we're doing and we play hard and we play for each other and we've consistently stayed to that. And so it was just really satisfying to have them earn a victory, a hard fought victory, you know, uh, at the end of a long road trip with all the adversity that we faced and, uh, you know, tremendous credit to our staff, uh, t- tremendous credit to our players for just sticking with things and, and staying positive and just, um, you know, you can't measure the heart. I think our, our players played with a tremendous amount of heart. And sometimes I don't think they get the credit that they deserve. But this was a game where, what, six people in double figures? You couldn't have scripted that any better in a game where you're only using seven players. Come on. And six out of the seven scoring double figures. Like I told them afterwards, we needed everybody, including Jantel and Tiffany on the bench, cheering and talking and using their experience to help some of the younger players with what they were doing today. So. You know, just a, it was a tremendous victory for our players. I think uh, it gives them the confidence to know that, you know, we are doing the right things and they are better than that record looks like. And none of, none of that matters, you know, and it doesn't matter what outsiders think or say. Yeah, and you kind of touched on this, but with the limited depth, how, how kind of impressed were you with the offensive execution with the six players in double figures, 45% shooting and only eight turnovers? Well, what's most impressive to me is that some of the stuff that we did today, started doing the last day and a half you don't know how hard that is to you know be without a couple of people that you really count on you know two starters we, we didn't just lose two players we lost two people who've been starting and so to then have that upheaval you know 48 hours before you're playing the next opponent um to then come out and do the things that we did i think speaks volumes for the character of our team the heart of our team the willingness to play for each other and understand the game is bigger than any indiv- one individual player. And that's what's so satisfying. I'm so proud of them and happy for them. They earned this. And I'll bet you very, very few people outside of our locker room, our fans, our, you know, our people really gave them much of a chance to win, but that's why we don't listen to none of that. So it's, it's, uh, you know, just a, a great effort. And a real focus, you know, we talked about some things that we needed to do well, limit the turnovers, which we did, Uh, did a good job there. Um, About the only, uh, there was only a couple of things in game that I thought we really needed to make big adjustments. You know, they were shooting the ball lights out from the three-point line in the first quarter, and we took that away. They were two for eight in the second half, much different. So we made that adjustment, and we made a couple of other defensive adjustments. And after that, everybody just, I just told them to go out and relax and play and be confident and do everything the best you can and we'll we'll live with the outcome I'm I'm you know I'm one that believes in this team we believe in each other and so I didn't have a doubt that we could win the game like we said for the last 48 hours let's go win a game let's go win a game we'll figure out a way you just follow the plan and do your best and we'll live with whatever happens but we we felt like we could win this game you know, you've already talked a little bit about her contributions so far, but just how, given how recently she was signed and, and the kind of role she's already been given this early on in her time with the fever, just how important has Emma been, not tonight, but just not tonight only, but just for the whole mm-hmm. few games that she's already done for you guys? Well, huge. I mean, she has familiarity with several players on the team, having played with both Lindsay Allen and, and Daniel Robinson uh, in Vegas and also having played with Kelsey over in Turkey. So I think it was a good fit right from the beginning because they knew each other, they were familiar with each other, you know, people welcomed her and, you know, she, she brought a toughness and an energy level that we really needed. And so, um, you know, I thought Emma played well tonight. This is probably the best offensive game she's had in a minute, you know, as the kids would say, you know, that, that's a, that's a real productive game because you know, she's going to rebound. She's going to play tough defense. She's going to give you everything she has, but for her to come out here and score 16 points, I mean, she just worked. And uh, so just, shows you what you can do when you just put your mind to something, but she's been invaluable to us. And, you know, we're really happy to have been able to sign her as late in the year as, as it was, because, you know, sometimes players like that are not available to you. So we're happy to have her.